here we are and it's our first race of 2022 with our midweek club um, they've gone just over 60 miles because they've gone to Warwick I think it's 60 odd miles for us to Warwick um, and uh, obviously we was at basketing for 8 o'clock this morning uh, to get them sorted and then to get back down here to open these up off the darkness for 9 o'clock and uh, and then the birds went up at half one um, so hopefully it won't be too long before they're back because obviously not too long a race got everything set up because it's ETS this time oh it goes top there oh it's there there it is <laughs> so excited can't wait to can't wait to actually try it um, everyone was so helpful with us this morning at clock in obviously because um, never set an ETS clock up before uh, so obviously reading through the instructions that I could find online on how to set it all up make sure it was all all done right um, and you know, they were absolutely amazing with us this morning uh, so obviously I want to say thank you to them um, and I'll just show you how great it's so there's the pad and then obviously I'm going to hook this up if I can with one hand oh I see then I've got all the cock birds waiting in there for the hens to come back uh, we've only sent nine hens out of here um, the other because I'm saving the others for Saturday's race so all the other hens that are meant to be in here are have been basketed up and obviously moved out of the way because just because of the cock birds being in here um, I've got all the young birds out there I've got to show you, uh, not today, but obviously another video uh, later on in the week, uh, that we've got some new arrivals that we've just picked up the other day. Um, so I've got to show you them as well. Another 12 to add to the group. So doing well, doing well. And then over here, all oh, boys landing pads set up. We've only sent one cock bird from this side. There's clock there, look. Um, we've only sent one cock bird from this side. And they're just set up. We're the pad actually does fit under here into this gap here but i think nerves got the better of us and we've put it on there instead um so all these other cock birds that are meant to be in here again have been basted out of the way just purely because obviously we've got the hen in here waiting for him to come back um and so uh hopefully we will be able to film and show you a bird coming back and being clocked in through his ETS without having to chase it into the into the loft, um, but we'll see. See, it's um, it's a whole new thing today. Not having to, not having to chase, not having to you know, run into the loft and pick up the bird and put the ring through the clock. The fact that you just you just stand there and actually wish to watch him come back and just en enjoy the fact that they're coming back without having to worry about making sure that you've got in there but not dived on your bird too quick, but took the ring off, but getting the clock quick enough and <sighs> so exciting, so exciting. Oh, youngsters. Here you are, my darlings. Hello. I've got to do, obviously, an update on them for you. Uh, just to let you see where we're at with them. Um, we've got some of them going up. Uh, others having to flutter around. And obviously, we've got the new group of 12 that's gone in. And uh, everything's going. It's, it's full time down here at the moment. Uh, obviously, with the young birds and the old birds and racing starting. Um, and uh, getting as normal for race season, Red Bull. And I don't drink it any other time of the year, other than when it's race season. And uh, so I hope everybody that's actually racing today, um, you know, good luck to all of you. I know some of the some people that I've actually sent on the same wagon are just trainers, but still, hope you get all your birds back. And I will hopefully be back to you when we see a bird fingers crossed they come back um you know, because obviously like i said the cock bird that we've actually sent he um he was fully trained up and everything last year but never got a race and then all the hens that we've sent in there the nine hens we've sent in there um all barring one did a full race season young bird last season or obviously the yearling hen the 2020 hens that we've got in there obviously they've now raced two seasons but we've just got the one hen in there who didn't race last season obviously because she got hawked um, and obviously the season before she was a late bred and we didn't we didn't race we just trained her up so hopefully they've been coming well for training um, and hopefully they come well today uh, but we'll see fingers crossed and I say I wish you all good luck if you're racing today where's it gone where's it gone
Two. It's Amelia in that one. Go on, sweetheart. Go on, straight through. Go on, straight in, darling. Yay! Clap two pigeons in. Yay! <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I heard it beep as they went through. That was so cool. And to get two pigeons together. It's not very often we get that. So we've got two of us hens back. That's at nine that we sent. I'm just looking to see if I can see any more now. But they've come from this side over here. Whereas obviously they're meant to come from over that way. But there's a bit of west in the wind. So I think it's brought them around, around the back. But the back, that's, that's the main thing. Because I was saying, it was just... Be first race, short race, they're back. Oh, we won't focus. Show you there. It's triple seven. I can't show you there. She is a triple seven that's come back there. She's just excited to have a cock bird. And Mealy Hen down here. Yay! Now I need to go wait for some more. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. That's really good, that. Let's just wait for, it, wait for the rest of them, hopefully. Fingers crossed they'll come back. Got another one, got another one. Here we go, it's coming back round. This one came online from this side actually this time. Where's he got? There it is. <whistles> come on. I wonder if this is. Oh, where are you going? Wrong side there, sweetheart. Go on in then, baby. speed but I'm not bothered <laughs> I'm not bothered I don't think we're going to come in oh hang on and Rocky's just come back come on sweetheart this way that's it yes that's four in that's four hens out of four hens out of nine so five left and a cock missing so six birds still missing but that's good. I like it. I like it. And we've just been saying about how much time we've actually saved by, like before, we'd have to like wait for them to go through and then we'd have to go up and pick up the bird and take, up the, take off the ring and put it in the clock. You know, and we, it's how much time we've saved. Not that we won't race on T3s, but you know. So there's Rocky, he's just come back, red at the bottom. And at the top here, if I can get to focus, that blue bar at the top there has just come back with a fantail. Yay! I just got to wait for the rest. I think Erin's wanting to join in today. Here she is. Go on in, sweetheart. Good girl. Yay! <laughs> Five back. Oh wait, hang on. No, that, no, that's not ours. Where's it gone? That's the crow. I don't want that one. <whistles> Come on. Oh, oh, it's your cock bird. Yeah. So that's now six out of his ten back. Oh, hang on, I think there's another one. Let me step out at wait. Come on, my darling. Good babies. Go on in then, good girl. All right, all right, calm down. Oh, no, she's a bit edgy. I got her in, but she's uh, seems a little edgy. Just see who it is. Here she is. Hey up, darling, you got... You had something taken out your chest there, sweetheart. I might have to check her out, make sure she's alright. Oh, that 
one come like a rocket. <laughs> hey, you're sweet, huh? All right, calm down. Good girl, go on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone in anyway. Right, so we're now up to eight in the clock, and obviously, the cockbird returned, which we chuffed on because, like I said, he hasn't ever raced. He's been trained, but not raced. Hey, dude. Hey. Look <laughs> at you. Big boy, coming back from a race, aren't ya? No, please relax, like I say, he was trained, but never raced as a, as a young bird last year. And obviously he was a late bird, so we didn't, we didn't put him in for racing. And uh, so this was his first race. So uh, the fact that he's back, I'm amazed with that. Also we've still got one of the, 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 one of the hens that's still missing. Again, she was, well, she was trained as a young bird, never raced, because she was a late bred. And then last year, as a yearling, uh, through training, she was hawked, ripped the crop open quite bad in the seed and corn, uh, uh, corn and the water was falling out through it quite badly. So obviously she, was never, she wasn't raised last year. Um, so now she's a two-year-old and is only just having her first race. So whether she'll come back, I don't know, but I hope she will, because she, you know, she's been trained and everything, so the fact that she's... She should, she should come back. Fingers crossed. But uh, eight, two missing. <laughs> Yay! She just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, it's our red. That's, this is, that's the one that I was saying to you about that um, I've never raced. And she's just had her first race. Oh, I need to try and get in now. Lay up, my darling. I know, I'm gonna let you in. Go this way, you wanna go that side, that side. That side, Red. <laughs> oh my God. Let me open this door. Hang on, put this down. There we go. I couldn't do it one-handed. Oh, my darling. There she is. Just one missing. Just one. First race, 2022, ugh, 2022. Couldn't get worth that then. And on ETS. <sighs> right, so we've got nine out of 10 that have returned today. Um, really pleased that it's gone. Well, I mean, we don't, we don't feel like we've come anywhere. We feel like we've been miles behind, but it wasn't really about that for us today. It was about, one, it was first race of the season. We weren't gonna miss that. Um, and it was obviously, you know, getting those down the road, but I'm going to short one for those like, that haven't raced yet. And obviously for us having practice with the ZTS, because, <laughs> well, you know, obviously there's a few little things we had to tweak this morning, but we got there, we got there. Um, you know, and overall, we've, we're really, really pleased with the day. You know, like I say, we don't feel like we've come anywhere. We feel like we're miles behind, but I don't care because we've had a lovely day. It's been fantastic racing. And we've got nine out of ten returned. There's still time for other ones to come back, and uh, we'll see. I mean, there's two just flown. I can't see them, but two just flown over there. So there's still time for, for for her to return. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And obviously, I'll let you know on Saturday as a result, um, because obviously we have a race on Saturday uh, from Up Rayford. So um, fingers crossed for that one. Uh, no, what's that? No, it's a dove. It's a dove. It's all right. I have to check in. <laughs> but I hope you've all had a good race today if you've raced. Um, those of you that are obviously part of uh, the Pinkston Midweek Club, I hope you've had a good race today or a good training if you're sent in for training. And I will see you, well, we will see you on Saturday for our second race of the season, but from Upper Hayford, which thinks 80 odd mile. And I will, and I'll see you then.